All right, kids, welcome to the flip lesson here with Mr. Land. In seventh grade science, we are going to learn a little bit more about lab safety and rules, but we're going to use cartoons. No, not Homer Simpson or SpongeBob, but just some regular lab cartoons to try to identify some of the correct and incorrect procedures in the laboratory. So I'm going to play the presentation here now. Make sure that you use your Cornell notes. Remember that the left side has the key vocabulary and concepts and the right side with the notes is all for you you can draw you can write whatever you need to do to get the answers down now i'll let you know during the video what answers you'll be needing okay because we're going to do a little practice together right that's why we're doing this so that i can help you at home and you can learn at home so let's get started here so rules are necessary for lab safety when we work in the lab there are a lot of dangerous things that can come in the lab uh, take a look here at the pictures these are actual lab accidents you had a fire here at the top right and then you had another explosion here down in the bottom right so i want you to use your copies of your lab rules if you have one and if you don't well that's okay because we're going to practice together please write your notes your answers in the cornell notes section and i'll make sure to tell you when to do that okay let's go on uh no that's not a good picture of a science teacher uh, that's actually a really Frankenstein Halloweenish picture of a science teacher and I definitely don't look like that okay so what are we trying to learn here uh, we want to be able to look at the cartoon and find the correct versus the incorrect procedures that are in the cartoon that we could experience in the lab ourselves and you should be able to understand common lab rule scenarios as you're going through the cartoon you should be able to pinpoint saying oh look that's wrong because Oh, that's right, because, and that's what you should be able to do by the end of the video. All right, so let's practice here. We call this the science slacker. And if you take a look, you can pause the video if you like and take all in the picture here and look at all of the clues that are left behind. I can tell you right now that there are seven lab rules violations. Remember that you can pause the video. You can rewind the video if you need. You can always rewatch the video if you forget something. So. Let's practice here together. You don't have to write these answers down in your Cornell notes. This is just a practice example. So let's do one. Let's do a couple of answers here together. Can you spot any incorrect procedures right off the bat? I bet you can spot a couple, right? And some of them may be a little harder to find, but there's probably a couple in here that you can see right away. I know I see one that's like really glaring because it happens a lot more, more than we would want to, especially in the house. There it is right there. Water and electricity water and electricity do not go together because electrocution is a serious business it really is so that is one mistake there oh there's another one the knife is off the edge of the table that is sharp object safety and sharp object safety says that those edges need to be pointed towards they need to be kept safe and away from your body let's see where is there another one can you pinpoint it can you see it the glass jar has the poison symbol it's got the skull you can sort of make it out but what's important here is that it's at the edge of the table and its topper its stopper is not inside of it so that means that if his elbow hits it it's gonna fall it's gonna break and there might be some acid on the floor and then the dude's gonna be losing his sneakers and his feet possibly okay let's see another one his goggles his goggles are on the table and not on his face that would be a violation especially if you're working with a chemical how about another do you see another example of an incorrect right back there that is called an eye wash the eye wash is for facial uh, protection if we were to get a chemical in our face and the eye wash is being covered right now by a lab coat that's a no-no you can actually get fined for that in a real life lab situation here's another mistake the glass of the container is broken you can never ever work with glass that's broken if it is what should you do you tell the teacher that's the first thing you do all the time kids see broken glass they want to grab it no tell your teacher and last but not least this container here is being heated he wants to heat it but it's closed you can never heat a closed container it will create pressure and that thing might pop and whatever's inside might create an accident that's a no-no so science slacker, you're not a good student, sir. So let's see, this is the eye wash. This is what it looks like here. There's a YouTube link here at the bottom if you'd like to see what an eye wash would look like if it's running, okay? I can show you in class, but you can also check out YouTube right there. The eye wash itself, okay, is located in case of an emergency. And if your eyes are splashed, you run carefully 
and you start the eye wash and flush out your eyes. Flushing them means you run the water through them. And you should do that at least for five minutes minimum. And that way the chemicals can be taken out of your eyeballs there. Just kind of like that. That's kind of what it would look like. I know that may seem a little strange to you right now in the picture, but that's exactly what flushing of the eyes would look like. Let's go on here. Let's do another practice. Okay, here we have another cartoon with some lab, uh, lab incorrect lab procedures. Um, take a look around. You can probably see some wrong things, and there are some right things. So, kids, we don't have to write any answers again. Let's just practice this one together. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Let's find the first one. It's very obvious. Girls, this is a biggie for you, and it's the hair. The hair. It should not be near a flame. If it is, it could catch fire, and that's a bad thing. So this is definitely a no-no in the lab. Let's take a look around the room and see what else. This young lady is very correct. I want to point this out because she's actually doing a very good job here of heating her test tube, and she's pointing it away from herself, and she's got the proper clothing on. So she's doing a really good job. How about this young man here? Following her, right? there yes what's going on here well this young man here is horse playing horse playing is never allowed in the lab that can lead to accidents that's a no-no let's follow the next student and see what we can see this young man here is correct in his procedures because he is washing and he has his lab apron on let's go on let's take a look at the young lady here her dress code is horrible why is it horrible because she's wearing pajamas she's wearing pajamas and has no goggles on and she's working with a chemical and you can actually see the fumes coming into her face that is incorrect let's follow follow right here what's going on right here we have a dissection happening right here a dissection is going to be a live animal that's being dissected but there are no gloves she's not using gloves again dress code is a, is a biggie here let's follow the next student this is incorrect can you see why do you see why because he's eating in the lab and as we know eating in the lab is never allowed because chemicals might be present and those things might mix and then you'll eat the chemical and you'll turn into frankenstein no nothing like that and let's go on to this young man here at the bottom he's definitely doing something wrong can you tell can you tell yes it's the test tube he's heating it and he's pointing it away from himself which might lead to some boiling or some spilling that's a no-no right there so we got a couple of kids doing some good things and we got a lot of incorrect lab procedures let's go on here now here's a great cartoon now this time i'm gonna let you be there are 12 lab safety violations you'll notice that the students all have names and they're all in a really nice classroom that could be mine and there's a lot of violations happening you can already spot a few so what i want you to do is on your cornell notes i want you to write the name of the student and the violation that you think they are committing there are a total of 12 please number them if you can in your notes section of your cornell notes and then at the bottom of your summary please write in five sentences why you think that lab procedures are important to follow correct versus incorrect so at this point you can pause the video if you like please do so take your time rewind and check out the parts that maybe we practiced if you need a little a little help use your lab rules uh, copy if you have one so i want to say good luck to you guys and i'll see you in class tomorrow with your answers always be safe in the lab the lab is a great place it's a lot of fun we can do a lot of cool things but you have to be safe so from mr lan to you i want to say never do this Never do this. Please do not be this guy. There's no idea what I'm doing. Please don't explode. Yeah, don't do this. Okay, bring your final answers and we'll check them in class tomorrow. So rewind the video if you need, get your answers down and I'll see you soon. All right, kids. Peace.